Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon on the YouTube app to never miss an update from the Beverage Trade Network. Hi, I'm Becky Miller. I'm an advanced sommelier at Le Toque Restaurants. wine program is really focused on our wine pairing options. We have essentially three different menu selections. Every single dish on the menu has a corresponding wine to go along with each of those dishes. Chefs and I taste every single dish, every single wine, sometimes five times, six times, seven times to find the perfect wine. And sometimes it's a challenge, sometimes we know exactly what we want, but primarily all of our wines that we offer by the glass are the wines that we utilize in our pairings. Other than that, we have about 2,300 selections in our cellar, so if you don't like what we have as available as pairings, I'm sure there's something available in the cellar to drink. A lot of blue chip wines, a lot of older vintages, a lot of fun small Napa projects. So from, sorry, so from a buying perspective, a lot of the wines that we utilize, we try to keep under a certain price point, usually for pairing purposes. No more than $40 a bottle is what our wholesale cost would be, but that can skew a little bit more Napa Cabernet, especially for pouring older vintage Napa Cabernet. It can be a little bit more expensive than pouring Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand or whatever else we might source. So we have some wines that are priced at a very good value some that skew a little bit higher. We offer usually one or two selections by Corvin that are usually older, more special vintages. Right now we're pouring some Opus 1 Overture by The Glass, which is always fun to offer people in Napa. But other than that, it's, it's pairing, it's trying to find the best wine possible. It's not a 100% Napa exclusive list, which some of our guests question why we're not pairing everything Napa, but we will never compromise any of our wine pairings just to pour something from our neighbors. Um, but there's a lot of benefits, primarily being from the back end of being a sommelier. I don't have to reprint and stuff menus every single day anytime there's a wine list change. There is a lot of things that uh, save time. If a wine list gets, a wine gets 86 drink service, that's automatically taken out of our system. So the next guest who sees the wine list is not going to get excited by ordering a wine and then it's not there because somebody else just had it. So I think there's a really good kind of customer uh, benefit. I think that utilizing even just the search function on the iPad is able to save time and help narrow down the focus for our guests. We have so many wines with over 2,300 selections. It can take you know, forever to look through and find something that if you want, if you just want to spend $150 on Napa Valley Merlot, you can actually change search parameters to just search that and you'll get the 40 examples or whatever we have of those parameters. Honestly, the most successful part is our chef. Ken Frank is an amazing chef first and foremost, but he also is somebody who loves wine, probably more than any of us do, which is great because he's fully involved in every single buying decision that we have for the restaurant. He will actually be a chef that sits in on our tastings, tastes wine with our reps, gets the flavor ideas, and then maybe four months, couple months go by, and then he remembers a wine that we tasted and he's created a dish to pair with whatever we found. So he's amazing at that. Um, he, they'll change components of dishes by adding maybe more acid or something to change the profile of the dish to suit the wines that we might have already found to pair with them. So that's, I think, really the key. And besides the fact that he gives us a really, really long leash. So if we want to pour Hungarian ferment as a pairing, he'll make it work. So he lets us play with everything. <laughs> Approaches for table side upsell are honestly to back off and be really, really low key. I would rather make friends at a table 
and show them a really, really good experience. And I play the long game. I would rather have them have a really good time at La Toque and then want to come back again and order another bottle of wine or undersell people on the first bottle of wine. They thought they got a really, really good value. So then the next bottle that they get can be a little more treat to themselves by spending a little bit more money going more single vineyards, going older bottlings. We actually host a Court of Master Sommelier's intro exam typically once a year. And because we host it, we want a lot of people to actually sit and take the exam. So. I've just started doing a weekly wine class that anybody in the hotel can actually attend. It's not just for people at Latoque, our banquet staff, bar staff, people from the front desk, anybody can come to our wine classes and they do. We actually hosted an exam a couple years ago where the general manager of the Westin sat and passed his intro psalm exam, which I think that he might be the only uh, intro psalm in the Westin hotel group as the GM but it's kind of a complete picture of trying to educate everybody at lineups. We may taste dishes with food and talk about things, we talk about the why of why things pair certain ways. Are part of the Napa Valley Truffle Festival. And not only that, we also have, for the last 37 years, done an all black uh, truffle tasting menu in January. And in the summertime, we get truffles from Australia and are able to do an all summer truffle tasting menu. So I get experience pairing truffles basically all year round. Anytime there's truffles that are delicious and amazing tasting, somewhere in the world, I get a pair of wine with it. So our dining room is filled with the flavor of truffles. And we look at every single variety to play pair as uh, truffle pairings. Our last truffle menu, we paired wines from Montbaziac in the southwest of France to go with different dishes, white burgundy, champagne, of course, wines from all over Italy, from Barolo, from Valtellina, from Tuscany, and of course, Napa Valley wines. There's, there's a, a wine to pair with the flavor of truffles. You just have to find the dish to make it work. Some challenges, I think, with the Binwise system, I think I've actually become really accustomed to in the last few months. We actually, at La Tope, were one of the very first restaurants to utilize Binwise. Because of that, technology gets a little dated, so now we're trying to implement and help Binwise create essentially a new system for the restaurant. So I actually have two versions of my iPads, new version and old version and being able to compare and contrast the two uh, styles of the iPad, basically from the guest perspective. What is it important to uh, look like from the guest to make it really easy to utilize a digital format? Is looking at things like font size and font layouts, looking at just ease of function. If people have to be taught how to use a program, it defeats the whole purpose where utilizing our new uh, Binwise system on the iPad, people are able to just pick up the wine list scroll through just like they would a book and be able to find exactly the wine within 15 seconds. They're able to narrow down the scope of 2,300 selections down to four options if that's what they're looking for. There's different ways to kind of customize the back end and change different layout functions. I've been working with uh, Binwise recently to be able to change just even the search parameters to look at if you want something from one particular vintage, we can find just every wine from this particular vintage on our wine list, different grapes, different producers, different regions, different price points, which I think is key. There's a lot of blue chip wines in our cellar, a lot of kind of cult producers, DRC, the Screaming Eagles the Rostangs, we don't need to think about moving those. Those are fine. Those can sit and sleep in our cellar until the right person is ready for those. A lot of what we focus our buying decisions on is more wines to suit our pairing program. That's essentially our entire buy the glass program at Latoque. And basically once a dish has run through its cycle, we don't have to uh, necessarily get rid of the wines, but we utilize what we call our seasonal wine list. So we have about 25 selections of uh, white wines 
25 selections of red wines. And most of the wines on this list, they're all really, really fairly priced. They are all former pairing wines, so we've bought them in bulk. We've got the by the glass pricing point on them, but they may not be poured partly by the glass, but it's still delicious wine and we still want people to drink them, but it might not have the right dish to suit it. So we are able to kind of move product a little quicker by giving them people a more streamlined list, kind of the best of lists from our program versus having them sort through 2300 selections to find a really interesting bottle of Chardonnay, like our 2009 Pay Chardonnay that I have on our list for $105. It's a steal, come drink it. <laughs>